Good morning, good morning, good morning. Buenos dias, mi gente. Yogi, yo, welcome to Daily Discipline number 341. My name is Rob Hoback. Happy that you're here. Honored and humbled that you keep coming back like for reals. It is a Sunday fun day. It is a work day for most of us. It's raining like crazy here in Oklahoma, so it is time for us to get to work. So first things first, still the realist. I'm also a dry. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's raining good here. We've been in a, a bit of a drought for the last few weeks, and we're going to make up for it this week. And so, you know, you just watch the news and you see people, you know, the houses are flooded. Uh, all these people down in Texas that are, you know, forced out of their houses. We're here. We're dry. We're safe. Thankful. A couple other things I'm thankful for. I figured I'd just throw a couple more in there. Thankful for my son, Samuel. Had another good game yesterday. The Bruins, white, sixth grade football team is not playing well uh got shut out again yesterday so for those of you who are counting one and three and in the three losses zero touchdowns hell barely even able to get a uh first down so if anybody's listening has any control over that you might want to go fire that offensive coordinator and get somebody in there who knows what the hell they're doing just saying right got beat by like shouldn't have lost that game anyway proud of my son kept his cool um yeah yeah i love that kid he's awesome Anyway, um, I'm also thankful for Paw Patrol. Yeah. So this morning as I was getting ready, I've been ready for like an hour. Here, and I, I couldn't find my glasses and I knew they were in my room. But I also knew that Sissy and Jack had come in in the middle of the night. And that if I kept going in there looking for stuff, I was going to get up. They were going to get up. Well, Jack's up. He's up there getting his Paw Patrol on. And uh, Paw Patrol, yeah, that's, that's like a big helper for me at times, right? So I'm thankful for that. You know, I'm also thankful that I found my glasses. I feel like I've been looking for my glasses my entire life. Just saying. All right. So let's get to work. Uh, it is, we're going to do a, a review. Run that back, Turbo. Week number 38 on the uh, 22nd of September. So here's what we learned, right? So if we go back to last Sunday, or exactly last Monday, the, the advice was we have to be open to any possibility, right? And, um, yeah, that's easier said than done, right? It's oftentimes for me, when a possibility comes up, poor Rob takes over and says, let me tell you all the reasons why that's not going to work. And we just have to mute him uh, as we go forward. But we just have to be open, right? Like if we want our lives to change and improve, we have to be open to uh, possibilities of how that's going to happen, which will require change too. Uh, does karma affect football? I mean, come on, seriously? Like, yeah, it does. Karma affects everything. Like, I don't, it, yeah. It just does. There's no two ways. Now, is it linear to where, you know, you do something shitty in the football program and your football team? I don't know. Like, I'm not in charge of that. I just know that, you know, you do go around doing shady stuff. It's come back. Get you. Um, we had 918 day, right? We are better than okay in okay. Think about that, right? Now, this, is, this place is better than just okay. Actually, our second best football team almost beat Texas's first best football team last night in Texas, right? Just saying, we got more oil too. All right, um, Barry Zito. Wow, that was something else. Talking about you better have an internal foundation, something for you to hang your hat on, something for you to hang on to when you get tough times. That was a good one. We talked about God wings, and then we talked about waiting for it with Antonio Brown. Like, you know, just my opinion that he was going to self destruct, and he did just a lot quicker than I thought he did or, or would. So, yeah, what a week, huh? How about that? So with that, we're done for the day. I got a whole house full of people here. I got entertained. They're rustling. They're looking at me. They want to stop. I got to go. Hands up. Peace out. We're better together. I appreciate you stopping by. We'll be back here tomorrow morning for a manic Monday. We'll look forward to seeing you then. Deuces. Go. Go. Oh, by the way, Cubs are done. One week. Went from five game lead. Down one. Or no, three game lead. Whatever it was. Maybe they were one game lead, lost five in a row. They're just done. Oh, well. That was next year. See you guys. Bye.